Since we're just a few minutes ahead of schedule, I'll use the opportunity to uh, say a few more words for which I did not prepare a speech, but uh, I, I just want to maybe share with you some of uh, the thinking that we have now in the GF about raising the bar and uh, referring to some of the themes that were mentioned earlier. First, on the issue of funding. We want to raise the bar in many different ways, but let's start with that one. Al is, is very right to, uh, to refer to this global uh, economic crisis that there, there is nowadays, or there has been for a couple of years, one may say, or more. Uh, I used to tell my colleagues in my previous uh, incarnations, or one of many that I've had before, that it's, it's a misconception that there is less money in the world. There's, there's not, not less money. Money doesn't disappear. It's just harder to get because there is more competition nowadays. And because of the fragility of some economies, governments in particular, but I would say the private sector too, and I'll come back to that, they're more careful in deciding where they're going to invest their money. So let's face it, a lot of people are working now on, on water projects or other projects that are relevant to the GF. So if we want to get the funding, we have to do better, not just to get the funding, but to produce better things for this world. That's why we're here. So let's be better. That's how money will, will, will not be a problem. Second way we're going to raise the bar, I referred to it earlier, is in uh, taking a holistic approach so that this, this comprehensive approach generates more than the sum of its parts. That's, that's a very significant change that we should not underestimate. Otherwise, we're going to be lost in a drizzle of little priorities that individually don't make as much sense as they should. The third way we're going to raise the bar has to do with quality. No quality, no money. That's, that's very clear. But no quality, no input. And that's what hurts me more, would hurt me more if that was the case, because we owe the world the improvement it needs in water uh, in general. So we have to work harder at being more cost efficient, cost effective, and just being better, achieving better the objectives for which Donors of all kinds have entrusted us in, in sharing their resources with us. So cost and impact, these are two of, of the elements of quality that we must have in mind in this holistic approach. The third one, I mentioned it, is very important. It's to document what we do. Now is the 20th anniversary of the GIF, so one of the things we're doing is that we're trying to recap a little bit what, what we've learned in the GIF over the last 20 years. And we were quite amazed, to tell you frankly, because we realized that over the years we've done thousands and thousands of projects, many of which are, are just in filing cabinets today. So, so we're, we're trying, to, and some, unfortunately, which have disappeared with people that used to work on them, or because the, the information generated was verbally shared until it faded away. So that's another way we want to raise the bar, because all of what we do provided the quality, and, and you've shown the quality before, can only have its greatest impact if it's shared with other people. And it cannot be shared if it's not documented and if it's not reported in time. Now, in terms of sharing, there's one more element. The other day, I had the, the opportunity to uh, participate to a, a workshop in New York, and one of the uh, speakers was uh, Governor Schwarzenegger which, uh, as you know, is, is now very much, has oriented his life very much towards environment. It was a UN-related meeting, so there were lots of UN people there. So there were, uh, basically his message to the UN, I think, is also very much applicable to international waters. He was talking about climate change. He was saying climate change is very important, and he was very passionate about that, and, and rightfully so. He was saying climate change is very important, but many people don't understand what that means. Many politicians don't understand what that means, and as a result of that, many of them don't believe in it. So while, while climate change is so important, because if we're to fail to address that, then the whole world will suffer in, in, in terrible ways. So he says the way to address this, therefore, is to translate to better brand the issue of, of climate change. I would say the same for water, international waters in particular. We have to find a way not just to report numbers, but to report them in a way that, that makes sense to the normal people. Not that you're not normal, but I mean to <laughs> other people that are, let's say, less technical than all of us are here. Because uh, to, to keep Mr. Schwarzenegger's example, he said if you talk to somebody, uh, climate change is important. 
They will say, yeah, sure, but uh, that doesn't change much for me. But if you say, yeah, but climate change or international water, you know, if we don't do anything, it will have an impact on the climate, which in turn will have an impact on agriculture, which in turn has an impact on food, on jobs, on security. Then they start listening to you. They say, jobs, really, that security? So international waters, or water in general, is very important for the same reason. It's very, um, it's very important to say that because of project X, Y, Z, now we've mitigated so many tons of CO2, for example, or, or X quantity of, of nutrients that would have been otherwise thrown in the sea. But let's remember that as important as these statistics are, they are because that's what we use to improve our next projects. We need them. But the common person in the street and many politicians, except the ones we have here, but other, other ones, <laughs> many of them don't fully grasp what we're talking about. So how would you like governments to, to put in place this legal framework that is needed if they don't understand what we're talking about? So we have to, to find a way to make it in a language that everybody can understand. And last but not least, my, the way I see the future, maybe because it's part of my past too, is that the future has to do with governments, of course, with, with organizations represented here and others, but it also has to do with the private sector. And there again, as for governments and, and people down the street, we have to find a way to communicate to them in a way that will resonate. For instance, it's very nice to offer the opportunity to companies to become greener, you know, invest in depolluting X part of the world or part of your, your installation and you, you'll be greener, so it will be very nice. That's good, but that's not good enough. We're another charity organization, and that's what they will tell you even more than us. They will say we're a business organization, so it's nice to be green, sure, but what's in it for me? That, that's what they're going to say. So we have to be creative. I'm just thinking of one example that I, that I sometimes quote because I, I like it a lot. I think it reflects that. There is one of our projects is in Brazil. It has to do with, Al has heard me talk about that one before. It has to do with shallow dams, which uh, tend to have a very high content of methane, which as you know is a pollutant. And, and while it's uh, in liquid form in the water, it's, it's not very good for human consumption either. So we have currently a number of demonstration projects in, in, in Brazil, in the Amazon region in particular, where we're trying in areas of high methane concentration in these small dams that produce electricity to find sustainable ways to recover this methane and then use it to produce more energy. So you're not just removing the pollution, but by doing this, you're generating additional profit. So it's the same in agriculture or in uh, brewery uh, production as well. There are ways, and, and we're there to demonstrate the world that it's possible to help these companies become greener while making money doing it. So the more we can create initiatives that way and, and explain them in that way, the more that will resonate with the private sector and the stronger we will be expanding our network of partners. That's another way to raise the bar. Okay, the last way is that I'll stop talking and, and please invite you to have the break because I believe it's the time now. Thank you.